Hi, I'm Pete Calloway with Calloway Cars and Calloway Carbon. In Santa Ana, California, we manufacture uh, high-end carbon composite structures uh, for automotive and non-automotive applications. Hi folks, Reeves Calloway here with Calloway Carbon at the 2013 Aero Def and Composite Manufacturing Expo, which is an exposition based on aerospace, defense, and composite manufacturing. We're the composite manufacturing guys, and I'll show you why. It's a little bit hard to see how that happens, but that's why we're here, to explain how that happens to clients who either want us to build their parts or would like to license this technology from us so that they can build their own parts. Size by the thickness of the skin. And then put the, the carbon and the foam together into the tool. Close the drop it, close the tool, and then inject the resin. Having a monocoque skin around a low density core. Et voila. We're here to do a world debut of the resin transfer automation system. And what that means is that we can make carbon parts that are structural, ones that carry a load, automatically in one shot. Carbon structural part, in this case, a rear spoiler for a Corvette. And it's a little bit of a complicated part in that it has to have a very nice surface finish. It has to have integral part points uh, for attachment and it has to have a very precise dimension and weight to it. And if I said that this part was made in one swift molding step, it's a, a remarkable development in this industry of making carbon parts. Because this part would traditionally have taken several days to make, and yet in our, in our methodology here, we make this part in about an hour. Carbon parts are formed of a carbon textile mixed with an epoxy resin. The problem is how to get the two together. So this process and this machine is designed to deliver the two-part epoxy to the tool in exactly the correct speed, the correct ratio, and the correct pressure. And it's all automatically controlled by what's called a process controller. And essentially that means that of the, of the hundreds of little steps that are involved, they need to be sequenced correctly so that the next step can't be done before the prior step is finished. And that's what a process controller does. And it does that by controlling the speed of these two pumps independently, which pump the resin through a series of tubes into an injection nozzle that is connected to the tool. And then the tool has a pretty fancy array of sensors on the tool that sense uh, temperature, pressure, flow rate, and monitors the progress of the injection at the tool, even when the tool is closed, because of course, you can't see in there when it's closed. So these are your eyes and ears for this process. So what we've got here is an example of, uh, of the parts we're making, uh, really to showcase the technology <laughs> behind how the part is made, not so much this particular part. Uh, but what you can see here is a carbon fiber skinned structure that's got a foam filling uh, and an integrated hard point in this case. Uh, what's interesting about this process is that we've figured out a way to make this uh, all in one shot. So as opposed to traditional method, which would have required to making, uh, molding a, a top skin, a bottom skin, um, the foam core itself, uh, and then bonding all of those pieces together, and then whatever post-process would be required to, uh, you know, uh, to put a hard point into a composite part, is now all attainable in one fell swoop. A few different things that we're up to as a company. One is uh, making finished goods, finished parts, uh, build to print services. Uh, the second is making the tooling and all the design work uh, around making the actual part. 
The third is making the machinery that controls the whole process robotically and, uh, and, and offers uh, a real live trace of documentation with every single part. So whether a customer wanted us just to supply finished goods or to supply know-how and license of the entire technology for them to make their own parts, uh, then that is, uh, that is something that's on the menu as well. So that's the news from AeroDef 2013.